Good morning, Topkin Options traders and investors. Matt Buckley, Callsign Wiz, the primary and weekly options model portfolio manager here at TGO. And obviously, a holiday shortened week. Markets were closed yesterday for Columbus Day. So, we're going to take a look at the flight schedule and see what drivers of the market we're going to uh, see this week. And I already saw some of it uh, this morning. So, Tuesday morning, we saw uh, the NAHB housing market index actually came in a lot softer than expected. It's all 47 last month. Uh, 500 pound heads we're looking for a 48 seeing a 46 um, is that an outlier I don't know that's the first time in a long time that uh, the housing market has uh, been like that uh, yeah first time jitters in about a year home builder took a pretty big uh, backwards uh, step here so we're going to get throughout the week further indicators into what's going on in the housing market for example on Wednesday, we're going to see building permits, we're going to see uh, mortgage delinquencies, and we're also going to see housing starts. So we're going to, this week is all about housing and the consumer. We're going to uh, also see some uh, consumer uh, reports. PPI, core, uh, PPI, consumer confidence is coming uh, later in the week, right down here on Thursday. We're really going to take a look into how the consumer is feeling with the conference board, the leading index. So this, if you don't know what uh, this is, they survey um, 10 economic indicators, employment, new orders, consumer confidence, housing, stock market prices, credit trends, interest rates, all sorts of stuff. So the conference board uh, report is a big, potentially market moving event. Also on Wednesday, obviously weekly unemployment claims, we get some CPI information, manufacturing PMI, and more into the housing sector with existing home sales. Also Philly Fed, we're going to see how the Philly Fed's doing. Really imploded last time. We saw the Empire State Manufacturing Index implode uh, uh, two months ago, and then sharp rebound last week. So the Empire State Manufacturing Index actually came back a little bit. So, uh, And then on Friday, rounding out the week, it's kind of quiet. What else is going on, folks? Uh, interesting uh, news over the weekend that uh, some emails from Walmart executives leaked and says, hey, we, this is the yeah, this is the worst start uh, that I've seen in, in the seven years in the company. Really good, uh, a really good read here to to see inside the mind of some Walmart executives. They they have no doubt that it's due to the uh, expiration of the payroll tax, uh, right? The Social Security uh, credit. Um, so for all the Democrats blustering about, uh, hey, it's you know this was a temporary tax. It's really not going to have that big of an impact. Hmm. It is. Uh, Walmart, obviously, middle, lower middle class, a destination for a lot of shoppers, they're hurting. And when Walmart's hurting, that's not good for the economy. This is also what's really uh, going to impact the market here short term. 32 days, 33 days now of higher gas prices. And it does come at a tough time, obviously. Uh, they're seeing north of $5 a gallon out there in California. Folks, that's an instant tax increase, right? Instant tax to increase whenever gas prices go up. A dime, 15 cents, 25 cents, that goes right to your bottom line and comes right out of your pocket. So also seeing rising uh, gas uh, increases. <clears throat> so all in all, not necessarily good. As you guys know, I believe that the market's going to pull back here shortly uh, and volatility is going to rise mainly on the sequester. We're getting ready to gird up for a uh, fight over the sequester uh, and the budget. March is going to be an extremely volatile period, and as you guys know, historically, March is an extremely volatile period. Taking a look at the past three years <clears throat> on the SPX, you can see rip your face off rallies into the year, followed by uh, Katie bar the door pullbacks in the market. Now, after those Katie bar your door pullbacks in the market, the market obviously continues its uptrend, but not without a healthy correction. So hopefully... Uh, you're hedged. Hopefully you have some protection on and you know what you're doing. If not, you're going to get shellacked, I'm telling you right now. Okay, and obviously, uh, hopefully we know, uh, uh, can help you uh, avoid uh, everything like that here at Top Gun Options with our training pro programs. Just knocked out a great weekly options live training session this morning from 9 to about 10.15. Taking a little bit of a break and then we're going to do a live trading session at 11 and we're going to add uh, a new couple new trades to our uh, weekly options model portfolio, which is doing just uh, absolutely great, folks. Last week uh, we saw about uh, $3,000 in profits right there on about $10,000, $11,000 in risk. And then for the past two weeks, we've seen nearly $6,000 uh, in gains. And that's uh, probably on about twenty. 
maybe twenty one, twenty two thousand dollars in risk. So having an absolute blast here in our weekly options model portfolio. If you want to give that thing a test flight, all you have to do is go to topgunoptions.com slash weekly dash options and you can get uh, uh, on board our weekly option service. Or you can hover over services here and go to weekly options. Again that's topgunoptions.com slash weekly dash options. Scroll down, take a two week test flight uh, two week test flight folks. Like I said we only uh, want to risk no more than $10,000 of the model portfolio uh, in any one week. Uh, so returning about thir three grand last week, that's a 30% return in one week. Annualized, that's over 400%. Um, so is that going to happen every week? Nope. Uh, we're going to suffer some losses, obviously. But more often than not, we're seeing, uh, we're averaging about $1,500 a week in profits in the uh, weekly options model portfolio since we got airborne. Okay. And like I said, things are about to get squirrely, folks. Housing's starting to teeter a little bit here. We're starting to get into sequester. Uh, Walmart executives are, are pretty big canaries in the coal mine saying, hey, this, this year, at the start of this year and this February, absolutely horrible. And we have gas prices going. So, and notice I didn't even give you uh, really a lot at all about my strategic mindset uh, from what's going on in uh, North Korea to China and Russian bombers flying over the U.S. territory of Guam and having to be intercepted by F-15s. A lot of crazy stuff going on in the world, guys. And um, if you just think that this market's just going to keep going up and up and up, uh, you might be right. But if you're wrong, you're going to be really wrong and it's going to hurt. Okay. So get on board, get trained. Uh, we'll teach you. We'll we'll teach you how to uh, uh, manage risk and execute with discipline in this market. Okay. Happy hunting. Make sure you hedge, and I'll see you tomorrow.